This is our sample CSV and this is our database. We'll be inserting from this to this using our Python code. So let's get started. Okay, first of all, you need to import MySQL DB. And you might not have this installed. And if you don't have this installed, you can use pip to install this. So this is the command pip install MySQL Python. This is case sensitive. I have the command and the link in the description so you can check it out. Okay, alright. So once you have this installed, you just need to create a database connection. So let's create the database connection. I'll call it my DB equals to dot connect and then what's your host I have it in my local host at the moment so it's just 127.0.0.1 and the user is the default ZAMP user okay why am I messing it up the password is no password it's empty and database is what is the database database name uh, here we need the database name and it is uh, all underscore db I don't know why I need that maybe because I can think of a better name so now once we have our database connection ready what we want to do is we want to open the CSV and read it right so that we can insert my bad so what we do is we go with open and what is our CSV name it is cars.csv right so we open cars.csv also this is not a, a, did I, a CSV full on CSV reading tutorial you can check it out uh, in the link in the description below or a card somewhere around the video at the moment alright so let's move ahead and I'm basically what I'm doing is I'm just opening the CSV file and trying to read it here. Okay, so we also need to import this, otherwise you'll get this error. So what we can do is you just type, type CSV, go over over there, click there, and just just hit Alt Enter, and then click Import CSV. All right. So you use our reader and CSV file and delimiter what is our delimiter we have used commas to separate values right so our delimiter is comma okay so now we have our csv file in this csv file so what we do is we create a list for the values that we will be inserting in our database and we loop through all the rows in the csv file so for each row in CSV file, what we are doing is the value to insert is what is the value to insert? It is first we insert we'll insert row zero like this is first row, right? This is first row and this is the value zero, one, two. So we will be inserting value zero, one, and Two of each rows. That's how we are looking. So for first, in the first time it will be a first row, first row. The second time this will be a second row. And what we do is, we just append this to all values, right? So now all the rows of the CSV will be appended in this all value. Now finally, what we do is insert this into our query, into our table. So what's our query? So our query is simple, it's just insert into table. Also guys, this is, uh, this is not a, what is it, single quote. This is this, what is it called, the quote kind of thing in that tilde button. So this is not a single quote, alright. And 
if you know my SQL queries, then you already know what I'm doing. And where do you want to insert? The first zero is, as you can see here, this is the car name, right? So you want to insert in name. And then in the second column, we have company. And in the third, we have year. So similarly, we just insert into a name, comma, company, and then into uh, launch here, right? And what are the values that we want to insert? We will assign them dynamically, right? So just add this place for now. Okay, so we have our query ready. Insert into table cars, name, company, launch here, and then the values that will be changed later. So what we do is we go my cursor equals to my db dot connect. So now we have a cursor with us right and then we just execute the queries using my cursor execute many is the command i don't know why i'm not getting it in uh, solution but anyway that is the command so you go your query you write your query here and then you just give them the values all right and then you just commit this is it so what we did here is we just opened the connection we read the values you know this is row by row and we appended each row in all values and then we wrote our query and then we executed the, and then we created a cursor and then we just used execute many to use this query and insert this value this value in this query okay so this is it if you run this now first of all let's just take the database with, if this is empty as you can see here this is nothing here and if i just run this okay so i'm getting an error what is the error connection has no attribute connect okay my bad i messed up this is not connect this is cursor so if i run this again Okay, now it's worked successfully. Let's reload it. And there you go. You have the cars here. All right, now, guys, if you have any issues, just let me know. I'll help you out in the comment section below. And if you want to know more about PA reading in reading CSV, just check out the tutorial in the description or it might be somewhere in the screen. All right, peace out.